at the house at 338 Chloe Heights in the reserves at West Creek. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This street is the at the back of the subdivision, so there should not be too much uh, traffic. There's no through streets in this area. This neighborhood is right off of uh, 1604 Petranco area, so you're close to Sea Road, 151, Citibank, Lackland Air Force Base, and going up a little bit for, further north, you have UTSA and USAA. Also going to look down the street here, at the end of the street we do have a walking trail. Let me zoom in here. There's a sign for walking trail and that goes directly to the community park which is right past those trees and in the community park they have a community pool. They have two community pools in the area but that one has a community pool, playground, tennis court, basketball court, soccer fields and jogging trails. Let's take a look inside this house. This house was built in 2011. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,600 square feet. In the entry here, we have a nice area here where you can relax, put a bench. Go inside. We've got tile entry. Tile throughout uh, much of the first floor. Here we have formal dining, some nice arches. To the left here we have the half bath. This is a very uh, good size half bath, a lot of room. To the right we have the kitchen, you have nice dark cabinets, granite countertops, again tile, tile throughout the first floor except the uh, downstairs masters. Nice deep dual sinks. You got gas cooking, so it's great for people who like to do a lot of cooking. Gas stove, microwave built in. Here we have the pantry. Good amount of storage space here. Over here we have the utility room, washer dryer hookups. And I'll briefly show you the garage only because it's got really nice uh, epoxy coating. Get the light on here. It's got an epoxy coating on the floor. Also, we have storage above the cars. And we have here a filtration system. for the water. Also has a full sprinkler system. Two car garage and garage remote. Okay. Here we have, this opens up, the kitchen opens up to the breakfast nook. You also have um, a nice open living room area. Cathedral ceilings, really open floor plan. Also here at the uh, kitchen you have a breakfast bar so you can put stools here and use it as an additional eating area. Alright and then we have the downstairs masters so we have one masters downstairs and three more bedrooms upstairs. There's ceiling fans throughout the house. You got a pop-up ceiling here. You can definitely fit a good king size bed and some nightstands, dressers, master bathroom. We have 
dual sinks again the nice dark cabinets we have the separate shower and the garden tub we have the commode and then a good size walking closet goes around the corner here on the side so there's lots of storage here okay, and just really great open space here above the uh, above the kitchen area and the living room all right, we're going to go to the back. Got a nice extended deck back here, which is great for barbecues. Got a nice table out here for your get-togethers. And then what's really nice about this house also is it's on a green belt, so you have no back neighbor. Okay, look down here and you still have a real good sized yard even though the deck is uh, you got a large deck up here so there's just a bunch of trees behind you really quiet in this area and then the stairs go all the way down to access the yard all right Just kind of get in the corner here so you can see the full length of the uh, deck in here. So you got the original deck and then the extended deck that was added on. Okay, we're going to head upstairs. Nice, nice wrought iron uh, rails. The paint is in really good condition throughout the house. Obviously, it's just uh, built in 2011, so everything is in good shape. Top of the stairs here, we have a great location you can make as your uh, office. Got its own ceiling fan, and then it opens up here to the upstairs game room or loft area. Also there's lots of plugs in the floor so you don't have to drag cords across the whole room. And also there's a hook up here for uh, phone and cable. Maybe you want to make your office on this side and enjoy a nice view of the uh, house. All the bedrooms are a good size. This is bedroom number two. Each of the bedrooms has a walk-in closet, ceiling fan. I'm gonna show you. This is a very good sized closet. Lots of space. There we go, get focused. Got a linen closet. Here we have the hall bath. We got a tub and shower combination. Again, tile, tile bathroom. This would be bedroom number two. This is uh, the largest of the secondary bedrooms of the three upstairs bedrooms. This is about 17 feet deep by about 10 to 12 feet across. So this is uh, one of the bigger rooms. And it has a walk-in closet there.
and this is the fourth bedroom. Again, all the bedrooms are a good size. The middle bedroom is quite a bit larger than, than the average. And it has, again, its walk-in closet. So to summarize, this bedroom, uh, this house has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, about 2,600 square feet in the reserves at West Creek. You get all the great community features, pool, playground, basketball, tennis. House is just recently built. Nice quiet street and no back neighbors. If you'd like additional information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, you can call me. My name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.